Hello, my lovely Aries. How are you, loves? I hope everybody's well. Aries, today we'll do a singles reading for the month of November and been requested quite highly this reading. So here we are. Let's do your November reading. And we are mostly focusing on the new energies. But as always, you know, whatever comes through are shared with you. Sun, Moon, Rising Signs and Venus. Take looks what mostly connects with your heart and mind and with your soul. And of course, leave what doesn't. Let's see here, Aries. What do we have right here, right for this month of November? An overarching energy for the month. We have two of pentacles. I, you need to make a decision and you are back and forth, back and forth with that. So many of you this month, it's time to decide. Back and forth, back and forth might not work for you in a long run. And Four of Swords very much speaks that you are still thinking of and very, very strongly are healing certain energies you've gone through. I don't see you moving further as this is your overall energy or there is a need of pause. It's kind of like, let's see a little bit what we can do and then we'll make any choices. So yes, loves, you are in the hermit energy here. You might deal here with the Virgo Aries, but I feel here you are very much deep diving in what you truly got to do. What you truly is your next move. Let's see, loves. Here you are in three of cups energy. For some of you, you've been dealing here with a third party, but three of cups very much speaks that is the time for you to to see for yourself where you are and where you want to go king of cups six of cups seven of swords and three of pentacles yes whatever works for you because i feel here you try to put some effort into something you might leave behind a water sign or a virgo somebody who lied to you there is a lying energy here around you somebody who you really wanted at one point six of cups and three of cups that's a wish fulfillment you really wanted them but feels here that is a possible third party here and you're thinking should i go forward or not should i invest in this or not there is a trust issue over there but also you know this person might not be the one who is trustable or you need to trust that's why you are in this hermit mode energy for some of you you don't even think you don't even talk with this person at this time but let's see as you see here after the hermit we have the emperor here this person could be even married or it's speaking here about, I need to make a decision. I feel here you will probably by the end of the month, as we have here the Three of Cups. Three of Cups speaks by the next holiday. The next holiday, wherever I am, is the Thanksgiving. So for many, many of you, you are in between whatever was, what been said, and what works for me, and what fulfills me, okay? Let's see here some clarifications here and we'll go forward. Three of Cups, Seven of Wands. It's like we got to be more than just simple friends or friends with benefits or anything like that. Because I feel here you do want something real with this person, Four of Wands. You want to be with them, vice versa, flip the energy. But I'm feeling here, you might feel here that this formula you are in right now doesn't work and seven of swords fool yes somebody here 
think you are a fool, but I feel here you are not because you are taking a leap of faith and moving forward. So yes, loves, Aries, that's why you are single here because I feel here you are indeed dealing here with somebody who might not take you serious or might not be serious about you too. Where you hitting here is the three of pentacles. What works for you? Let's see here. We have judgment. There is an awakening call for many of you. For uh, many of you, Aries, actually, this month is that month when you, you will realize where you are and how you can proceed forward. Also, for some of you, this is a past life connection. You... You got to work on, heal on, and move on from death. Yeah, absolutely. Scorpio energy. In the Scorpio season, this awakening call is happening. And the death very much speaks that, yes, might seem painful to leave this behind, but there is movement. As well, the death speaks about transformation. You might transform, you might change a lot of things. Could be around you, around your life, around your soul, around your relationships in general. And the five of wands. There is a conflict here. Could be an internal conflict. Could be a conflict even with this person here as you moving forward. They might not agree with that. But also, there are people around you. For some of you, you need to set healthy boundary with because it might not be quite fulfilling into your journey. What else you need to see this month? What else my Aries needs to see this month? Nine of Swords, don't overthink. I feel here for some of you, you might have some white nights, which I feel those nights are quite a struggle. Take it easy when you love. Don't overthink. And that sometimes life strings, but it's not the end of the world. Think of yourself, okay? Your mental health and overall health is the number one priority and wheel of fortune if you think here if you are on the right path if you are needed to do these changes if you have this awakening call know that you are on the right path with the wheel of fortune the divine timing the wheel of fortune very much speaks that a karmic tie you might fulfill now it's time to move on whatever it is and Underneath, we have Ace of Cups. For some of you, cleaning up this, let's call a mess or unnecessary energy in your life will bring you something new, which that could be even new love. Let's see here. If it's a new love or a new person, if we can get a zodiac sign, let's see. If there is new love for Aries... How it looks or who is or whatever we need to know about the new love seven of cups I feel here is not just one person but they are more than one princess of wands I feel here there will be a lot of communication as well a lot of messages back and forth Five of Cups, but also whoever you are meeting here, could be even another fire sign as you are Aries, don't bring up whatever you cannot leave behind. It's kind of like heal the past, don't bleed it in the future. And Two of Swords. 
Eight of Swords. You might feel here I'm not able because it's very hard. Even the new it's coming. I'm feeling here for many, many of you Aries. You are will meet a lot of people. But till you are not over this, you know, hurt or whatever you're calling and opening up your heart, the new love might not come in. Because you know the universe offers you are the one to choose and two of swords very much speaks that open up your heart chakra don't cry over the spilled milk because there is a lot of options out there i don't feel you are considering too much of anybody here because i feel here is like yes i have options i can talk with them but i'm not ready don't feel that you can't go forward with whatever it is. Because I feel here for some of you, Aries, you could underestimate yourself. I'm not loving. I'm not lovable. Yes, you are. And you are much more. It's time for you, loves, to see your true worth. Because we have a princess of pentacles. If you've been dealing here with somebody, you know, with a big difference, could be age difference, other stuff, let that go. Because there is somebody here who pretty much same age, pretty much like, you know, same vibe as you provide. And could be an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, okay? So it is something small, but there is something here that you indeed need to let it go. And Aries, let's see an oracle for you, my loves. Imagine. Whatever you put in your mind, that's what is reflecting outside. And we have underneath Unfinished Symphony. It's kind of clear up the path so you can move forward. We have to be fair. Yes, for some of you, yes, I need answers. I need this, I need that. The next card, we have the loyal heart and the tic-tac energy. You have very little time left. And I feel here there is a person here who enters into your life in a very short time. And it's up to you, loves, whatever you do. Love and light Aries, single Aries, I thank you for coming in. And I hope this connects and resonates with your energy. If it does, you know what to do. Otherwise, we'll see you next time. Namaste.